Hi everybody, welcome to Home Talk with John. My name is John Crutch, your Myrtle Beach, South Carolina area preferred realtor and home resource. So, on a rainy day like today, what better to talk about than putting gutters on your home? It's a great home maintenance tip, increases the value somewhat of your home, but also protects your home short and long term. The purpose of gutters, which is not something that is commonly put on new, especially track developed homes in the Myrtle Beach area, is that it carries away the rainwater from your foundation of your home. Now, why is that important? Most homes in the Myrtle Beach area that are new and track developed, and even a lot of the resales, are built on slabs, which is a four to six inch concrete piece, sometimes more, that is put on the ground, and then your home framing and other parts of the home are put on top of it. It's a much more cost effective method of construction, much more economical for the end buyer, you, However, the disadvantage is, if not properly installed, and even if properly installed, over time, moisture can wick up through that concrete that comes up towards the foundation. A gutter, for those of you that aren't familiar, is what goes along the top of your roof ridge line here, at the bottom, not the top, excuse me. It goes along the bottom of the roof, off the roof, catches it, goes to the end pipe, which is normally located over in here in this area, and then takes it away from your foundation. Now, on a rainy day, next time you have a big downpour, if your floor, if you're on a slab and your floor feels more moist, especially if you have carpet, and all of a sudden you feel more moisture coming up through your feet, you're like, you know, humidity's higher in my house today, that's because nine times out of 10, moisture is finding its way into your home somewhere. This can be caused by a settlement crack, which is very common in older homes and even new homes after the first six months or so that it's been built. Uh, gutters will keep this from having this quickly. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So as you can see, this overhang on this home is about three feet on the front. A three foot overhang is pretty far away from the foundation and a lot of the time will keep the water from being too close to your foundation and causing moisture issues. However, on the back of this home, as you can see, the overhang is much more shallow. This is closer to an 18 inch overhang Somewhere between 12 and 18 inches is more of a typical overhang for a home. That is not far enough away from your foundation to keep the water off of it. Even as you can see, this line here, this line all the way along the house is caused by the water dripping down, hitting the ground, and over time it has created somewhat of a trough, which if the home is not properly sloped, instead of going that way, can go that way. So as you saw in that last shot, what can happen when the water constantly drips off your home, whether it's a slow or fast pace, is that line, that trough as we'll call it, can be formed with the dip there to where it starts to pool along the foundation of your home. The soil being drier towards the home than away from the home because of it getting more direct water away from the home, eventually that drier soil is going to absorb underneath the home and the porous material called concrete that your home is sitting on will wick up through the floor. It's not something that comes alarmingly fast, but some moisture can be bad for a house, especially over 5, 10, 30, 50 years, even more so in older homes. Gutters are a great thing to put on your home to protect your home short and long term, especially for the minimal investment they are. Hope you've enjoyed this episode of Home Maintenance on Home Talk with John. Can't wait to see you soon.